you know that the very first Christmas was celebrated here in the Arab world? Christianity did not come to this part of the world with the Crusades. Jesus Christ was born here. Hello, my name is Rana Najm and I'm the author of When in the Arab World, an insider's guide to living and working with Arab culture. Islam is the official religion in all the Arab states with the exception of Lebanon, which is officially a secular state. However, Arab Christians are indigenous to the region and many are descendants of pre-Islamic Christian Arabian tribes. In the Levant in particular, although a small minority, Christians are represented in parliament, hold senior government portfolios, ambassadorial appointments, as well as positions of high military rank. Arab Christians celebrate Christmas and Easter openly with church services and celebrations in their homes. Christmas trees and decorations light up the shopping malls across most of the Arab capitals, and Santa Claus is busy here too, giving out presents to whoever's been good. A lot of Muslim families with small children also partake in these celebrations and sometimes even decorate a Christmas tree in their home. In Jordan, Egypt, Palestine, Syria, Lebanon and Iraq, Christmas Day is a public holiday. Christmas is observed, meaning Christians can take the day off, in Oman, the UAE, Qatar, Kuwait and Morocco. Easter, on the other hand, is not a public holiday in any of the Arab countries, except for Lebanon, which also observes several other saints' days. The majority of Arab Christians are Greek Orthodox, Latin, Roman Catholic, Malachite, Maronite in Lebanon, Copt in Egypt, Assyrian in Iraq, also known as Chaldean Catholics and Chaldonian Assyrians. Some Arab Christians observe Christmas according to the Eastern Orthodox calendar on 7th of January and some follow the Western calendar and celebrate on the 25th of December. Across the Arab world, including all the Gulf countries, non-Arab Christians are free to practice their religion in the many dedicated and licensed buildings, churches or in private homes. In the UAE, several churches were built on land donated by the ruling families of the Emirates in which they are located. And Kuwait's largest cathedral is located in the eastern part of Kuwait City. Saudi Arabia remains the exception, and although there are a lot of expat Christians living and working in the kingdom, there are no churches. And any public display of the religion is still illegal. However, things right now are changing rapidly in Saudi, and there are signals that this too might be changing soon. Sikhs and Hindus who live in large numbers in the Gulf countries are free to practice their religion in private homes and also in a number of temples that operate in rented commercial buildings. Not to forget that a small Arab Jewish minority lived in Egypt, Iraq, Lebanon, Yemen and Morocco up until the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948, after which they immigrated to different parts of the world. If you want to learn more make sure you pick up a copy of the book, which is available on Amazon and in audio version, and check out all the other videos on the YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Salam.